Oh, I'm kind of tearing into the XL904. Uh, that's definitely not the right hose. Um, the uh, rubber grommet that was hooked to this was not rubber anymore. More like a dark liquid, semi-solid. Goes in there, right there. Clean that up. Uh, oh, yeah, let's look at the fuel line that was in there. I thought it was a dead worm. Nope, that's a fuel line. That is a fuel line, and that's part of the grommet there. No filter in it. Didn't find a filter, but can't, can't, uh, blank this, the cylinder is absolutely pristine, almost looks like that's got a new cylinder on it and piston, I just hope they got it in, direct, in the right direction. I think they did, but I think whoever worked on the other saw might have got it in the wrong direction. And um, if you put the piston in, get it up here in the wrong direction, i.e. toward this muffler, the, where the split and the rings are, it'll catch that, catch the port here, the exhaust port, and tear up the rings, tear up the cylinder, and tear up the piston, so... It's pretty expensive if you get it on backwards. Is that's exactly what happened to this 901. But I have a good use cylinder piston. But anyway, uh, I'm just going starting to go through this and look at it. Everything seems in pretty good shape. Otherwise, I did have a extra uh, period of the five sixteenths. Uh, clutch cover which are hard to come by and it did have a good deflector well i took the deflector off the 901 uh, the one on the uh, here was kind of chewed a little bit but uh, i think i have an extra one of those i tried oh yeah this tab on the this tab right here right here on my vi over there would broke off and i tried to braze it um uh, I'd have to know a lot more and learn a lot more just to be no good at brazing because I'm not even getting to be no good. So I, it was broken right along there and I tried to braze it, but that wasn't happening. Uh, I ordered another one. Now this one on the 904s and the nine later 924s are different and the VIs are different. The VI is like the... Uh, uh, Super XL 925. And if you notice on this muffler port, there's no dividing uh, bar here. But on the 904, 901s, 903s, there, that, there's a dividing bar in the exhaust right there. And uh, it's a little bit different spacing on the screw holes. And the, so, you know, so, some were, will work and some won't, but definitely this mm, this muffler body won't work on a, a VI 955. That's that's like the Super XL. So, um, I've, uh, yeah, getting a 904 has been on my bucket list for, for quite some time. Uh, we don't have decals yet on it, but uh, they do have decals for the 903, so I'm hoping I'd like to see if, Joe would make a set of 904s. If not, I'd have to look elsewhere, but I kind of hate to do that. He's got the 903, and the 903 decals are, you know, pretty similar. Uh, so, but the the difference is, and you can see this, okay, on this, the paint is white across here, and the 904 decal, XL 904, is right here. And on the... Um, 903, there is a split right here, a ridge, and the marking is here. So, um, it's kind of different. And, and, and here's another thing is like on the 924s, this one has the uh, newer style metal 
ID tag on the side. But they made these also with the metal ID tag up here, like the old style. So this is a newer, but it's a W model, um, a full wrap. But but uh, this one was a little later. The early XL 924s did have the ID up here. And uh, I don't know about the XL 923s, whether they did. But uh, the Super XL 902, now that's a that's a glue on. That's a riveted, that's a riveted, and the Super XL 922 is a, a glue on as well, metal glue on. And the Super, X, Super XL 902 and the Super XL 922 are both Canadian saws. Uh, and the Super XL 925 is a Canadian saw, but all... Super XL 925s were Canadian saws, as well as Super XL 922s. They were all Canadian saws. There were no U.S.-made Super XL 925s that I know of. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. Maybe somebody tell me. I've never seen one that wasn't a Terry saw, and I think I know why. But um, anyway, uh, I've got an old steel here for a guy that I've got to uh, work on. It's an older model. I really like those. I'm not a steel guy, but those those older model German steel AVs are just really a pretty neat, pretty easy work on, pretty good saws. Uh, guess the biggest thing with with saws and people is no one reads the directions or learns how to use them. But I am pretty stoked that I got this air box and I all back on, and I uh, got an air box with an ID tag, so now all my saws will have ID tags. This 904 came without an ID tag, but I'm a, I have got the ID tag off the XL901, which is the same year, and I'm going to have a graphic artist change the 1 to a 4, and um, that way I'll have an ID tag on this. I don't care if I have an ID on the 901. It's a manual oiler saw. It's not as collectible as the 904, but... I don't know if I should have said that, but I, I need to have an ID tag on this to prove it's a 904. It is a 904, and just changing the the number on it, I think, will be okay. Um, this um, 90, uh, several of the saws, like the 870s, let's see, uh, the 870 and the 903... Yeah, an 870 and the 903 and the 904 had this weird choke over here on this side with a round lever, just a plain round lever. Uh, some of the other models probably had it too. Um, I, I don't know. They, some of these saws, I think they put together from a parts bin, uh, put different carbs in them. A lot of these, some of them had Walboro, some of them had Tillotson's on, on different models. So you never know. Uh, I guess they run what you brung, uh, but um, and so, some of these had screw um, um, idles instead of the idle screw coming through here. The idle was here, and you had to take the air filter off and adjust it with a little screwdriver here. And then uh, most of them had this type of idle. And this is instead of the vent being in the cap, this has the vent back here. That's an old style vent, and these are pretty good. I like them. Uh, they're easier to change than the than those oh little um, duck bills in behind the little behind the um, little rod. The there's a little silver rod that's harder than heck to pull out, and then yeah, and you have to clean those out. But um, this saw was made, I want to say, in around '68. But there'll be a lot of cleanup work on it and a redo of the vinyl handle guard. I'll have to do a strip that and then put a new vinyl coating on it. I'm trying to source a good vinyl coating. Right now I've been using plastic coat, like 20 coats of plastic coat, and then painting them the green. And that works okay, but it just takes a long time. Um, I need to find a uh, another spike for this. I'm going to run a 18-inch bar on this 904. It's going to be a, a, a 404 by 60, 063, which is a pretty hefty bar. It's not a long bar, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, with 404 and 63, it'll, it'll 
smash through some wood. Uh, most of my 900 series are running 3 8 uh, uh, pitch by 050, and that was a good, good, good size and everything, but nothing like a 404 to chew up some wood. Oh, I got, um, I got the, uh, a new uh, housing for the uh, XP um, 1020A automatic. Uh, my the, the other one was busted a few veins, so uh, I'll have the XP 1020 to restore and the uh, 904 to restore. This coming up, those two are going to be in line. Um, but I'm going to have to work on decals on this. That's the only one I'll have to work on decals on. So the most of these are terry, uh, terry saws. Well, not all of them. I guess at least more than half of them are terry saws. And there are no decals for these uh, terry saws, like the Super Mini SLs and the VI Super Mini SLs and the Super XL130, the VI130, XL130, XL76. The VI 123, um, XL 114. I don't, they have either the 113 or the 114. He doesn't have that. I don't know. He has a one, I don't know if he has the 103 or 104. One of those he doesn't have. And he may have, Joe may have the 250. I've got a couple of 250s, which are kind of an unusual saw. So, uh, and he doesn't have these. Uh, Click It and Stick It Vintage Restoration has these. They're pretty expensive, and they're not, they're vinyl. They don't have a, I don't think even, even Joe would make these in a water slide on the side. They might be vinyl from him, but they'd be cheaper if he made them, but they don't. Uh, there's my 71, 72, and 73 150s. That's first, second, and third year of the 150. But uh, I got quite a few of the Terry saws, quite a few. Uh, X, Super XL67, that's one of my only manual oilers besides the XL901, and then the XL701 AM, which that was that and the 904 was really two of the automatic oilers I wanted to get the most, but I had the hardest time getting. But they came about. I got two of these XL800s. I was going to sell this one and an XL and one of these uh, XL automatics, but after starting and running them, I just, I just didn't want to sell them. They don't, you know, no one wants to pay for very much for them, and when they're running and they're good, they, these Christmas colored saws like this, or that one's a Terry saw, and then this one's a U.S. saw, but I offered that one for about 175 or 150 bucks, no one even bid on it, so I said, heck with it, I'm not selling it runs too good so this was like the first year for the xl Auto, super xl automatic red and this was the first super xl automatic at all the christmas colored one was and then in 68 they turned to blue and 74 75 they went to red then they changed that red color to orange color later on in the 80s and then uh in the last year, I think they were yellow and black, and they said John Deere on them. And this is one of my three XL500s. And then I've got the XL400s. One of, That's a Terry one. Those are hard to find, the Terry model 400s. And then there's my other XL800. That's an early 800 because uh, there's, no, uh, there's no tank. Let's see the tank. Split the tank. These are cemented together so they didn't have bolts on the tank so that tells you how old that was that was prior to the fall of 67 um yeah those are pretty early saws i don't i think my other yeah that, my other one is a uh early also on that but um um and uh, the xl902 that's a terry saw I've got the XL850 and the XL870, but I don't have the XL875. I hardly ever see those. So I found this VI Super, VI Super 2, 
on eBay for 30 bucks, and it was in really sweet shape, and uh, just needed cleaned, and a filter, and that was it, so I uh, picked that up, it's a, it's a nice little lemon saw, and I guess that's my smallest saw right here, <laughs> it's the toy, came with the 150s, but um, all my restored saws are inside. Well, that should be about it.